D. Wood is going to chop someone up today. D. Wood, who's going in the wood chopper? Oh, man. I, man, I'm going to go with the Dallas Cowboys here, Greeny. And I know this is America's team. They love all the adulation, all the attention. We're used to seeing, you know, Jerry Jones press conferences outside of the locker room. But, man, what in the hell is going on <laughs> with the Dallas Cowboys, okay? you going out there. You, listen, week after week, Teams been coming at you and just running rush out over you. This past week, we had the Arizona Cardinals, okay, with Kyler Murray, who's from Dallas, come in there and just embarrass your whole team, okay? A couple weeks prior to that, you had the Cleveland Browns rush for over 300 yards against you guys, embarrassing y'all in Jerry's world. Then this week, you guys had the audacity, the <laughs> audacity, the gall to go run to your favorite reporter. Oh, talking about, oh, Mike McCarthy can't coach it, and, and Mike Nolan, we've drawn up terrible defenses. Excuse me, the last time I checked, you guys out there fumbling the ball. Okay, yeah, Zeke, I'm talking to you. Fumbling the ball twice, getting paid $90 million. Guys dropping balls, okay? Guys out there on defense getting tossed out the club. But y'all want to <laughs> run out here and y'all want to go sneaking and talking to your, uh, to your favorite reporter. What in the world does that have to do with anything as far as the coaches and it's concerned? Yes, I get it. Mike McCarthy, these uh, dinosaur, these dinosaur schemes that he's throwing out there on offense, yes, they could be better. Mike Nolan hasn't been good since probably the late 90s as far as defensive <laughs> schemes are concerned. Yes, I get that. But that man has an office, okay? Why don't you guys go try and look at that man, go ask that man in his office man-to-man -man, instead of sneaking to your favorite reporter out there trying to embarrass the organization. The Dallas Cowboys, the players, I'm so embarrassed by you guys. You guys need to man up. If you got something to say, go address the coaches themselves and stop running and be in these anonymous sources, and now I have to come on here on Greedy's show and then try to embarrass you guys and shame you guys because you guys don't know how to handle your business on the damn field. Oh, that's well done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I think chopping wood is a winner. Uh, <laughs> 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 Adam, I know everybody was taking cover. I know Greeny over here taking cover. No, it's all everybody, good. Everybody's taking cover. I'm ready to work. I want to work. I need to go work harder because I'm motivated or, or scared. I don't know what it is, but yes. something just happened right there. You cut <laughs> something of an imposing figure, I think, is basically what we're trying to say. Uh, Adam Schefter, what's your reaction? Actually, <laughs> I have a serious question for Shefty, um, which is that the Cowboys are actually – in one of the most unusual circumstances that I can ever remember a team being in, which is they look at times like they might be the worst team in the league, yeah. and yet they're in first place in their division. So what, if anything, do you expect to happen there relative to the possibility of changes in the coaching staff, changes in personnel, or anything else between now and the next couple of weeks? Well, first and foremost, I would say this. As much as I love anonymous sources, it's hard to argue with D. Wood chopping wood right there. I love anonymous <laughs> sources, and D. Wood hit it on the head there. Uh, saying that, look, what are you going to do in season? The, this is the cast that they decided to roll with. It's not like they're going to go fire Mike McCarthy or go fire Mike Nolan in season. I don't think that's going to happen. It's just not the case. And so... I remember when Mike Nolan was once the defensive coordinator in Washington and their defense was struggling and Dan Snyder sent him a bunch of vanilla ice cream because he felt like his defense was vanilla and everybody could see it. And then they brought in Bill Arnsbarger to help him and the team helped turn it around. Maybe there's somebody they could lean on, consult with, but the coaching staff is the coaching staff and it's going to be the coaching staff this year. This is a team right now that has been beset by injuries but set by turnovers. They turned over the football. They haven't gotten any turnovers on the defensive side of the football while Zeke Elliott's been fumbling. They've lost their entire offensive line. It's predictable what's happening there right now. No question about it. Super quickly, because the one move I was thinking of, <clears throat> two years ago they were struggling. They made a huge trade. They brought in Amari Cooper, and it did, to some degree, turn around their season. That's really sort of where I was thinking. Forgetting the coaches, anything they can do, any reason to think they might try and make a trade? Where do you want them to bring in help? The offensive line? Every team in the league is looking for offensive line help. Right. It's not like these solutions are just sitting out there where you're struggling and you just go trade for a player that turns it around. A wide receiver is not turning around. They need offensive line help. They need players getting healthy. They need turnovers. They need to right the ship. And again, they still can win that division as awful as they've been so far.
no question. Again, they're in first place, which remains hard to believe. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.